Hey guys, Adam here from the Tint Academy in Canada. And I just want to do a quick little video to show you how to inside prep. Now in our courses, this is the number one overlook misused step, but it's the most important step that you have to do to make sure you have a perfectly clean window tint installation. Now, a couple items that you need to have a proper inside prep is going to be your slip solution, an easy reach, a blade, a scrub pad, and your microfiber towels. Now, it doesn't matter how good your, your shrink is, your cut is, your actual install is, if you don't have a good, proper, clean inside prep, none of that's gonna matter. So just a couple of notes before I move on to this step. We have two items that we can use. We can use our soft pad or we can use our razor blade. All glass is kind of different. So we have this glass here, this is a tempered glass. So it's safe to use one of these guys here. Now, it will still nick up the glass if it's dirty, rusted, or dented. If you have laminated glass that's typically seen on Teslas and nicer vehicles, we wanna just use our scrub pad. Now, the way to see if it's a tempered glass or laminated glass is down on this little symbol here. It will say the letter T, tempered or laminated. Again, if it's laminated, use one of these. If it's tempered, use one of these. Now, with my inside prep, the first thing I wanna do is my slip solution. Now, if you watch our previous videos, our slip solution is made up of distilled water and eight pumps of baby soap. Sometimes with my inside prep, I'm using a little more baby soap. I may go up to nine or 10 pumps just to make sure we have it extra clean. So in this video, you notice I have nothing that's covered up here. If you have nicer cars like a Porsche Cayenne where we have that stitching across the bottom, you may want to cover up with a dash protector or a towel so none of that water comes leaking out of there. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the inside of my window and I want to flush the sides. Now, most of our dirt is going to be on the inside of this window. So I'm going to flush, flush, and flush. Once I cover everything up, I'm going to grab my razor blade and razor blade out the entire window through here. Now, a way to check if we still have any kind of dirt, salt, debris, or even glue on our glass, is I can do a little spray and rub my fingers down to see if I have any of that stuff down there. Once I do my razor blade, I'm gonna take my squeegee and we're squeegee everything else. So come right across the top, squeegee all that dirt across. Now, like we talked about, most of our dirt is on those side seals of the door. So I'm taking my easy reach or my gold card, come down the side, come down the side. Once I inside prep my entire bottom and drop my window down a couple slots, spray it off again and a razor blade the top of my window to make sure that I'll get that dirt and debris. Again, once I do that, I'm gonna spray my window off again, and I'm going to do another squeegee. I'm gonna roll it up, spray it off again, flush, flush, flush the bottom, and I'm gonna squeegee it off one more time. Now, if you find yourself in an instance where you're getting a lot of dirt and debris on your installs, I recommend to do one clean where we roll down the entire window. We take our microfiber cloth and our easy reach. So we roll my window down all the way, take my microfiber cloth, wrap it around my easy reach, and come right inside those seals. You see how much dirt is actually coming out of those side seals here, come down those seals. Now, once I do my entire prep, I want to take my microfiber cloth and wipe up any excess slip solution that we may have on the door. Now, one quick note, if you're a detailer or this is your first time, you never want to touch a microfiber to the window. This has lots of dirt and debris that's in this cloth. It can leave behind lint and other stuff that we do not want in the windows. So we only want to spray, squeegee spray these windows to make sure it's clean. Now, after this step, we're gonna go into our window tint cutting, shrinking, and install. Right before I do my install, I wanna do one more clean. Now, we've already razor bladed it, we've already scrub brushed it, so during this clean, I only wanna spray, squeegee, spray. If you have any questions, visit us online at www.tint.academy or follow our videos as we have a ton of tutorials to help you successful during your window tinting endeavors.